Hi kids team! This is your weekend update for March 25th and 26th. Your bright idea for this weekend is God forgives me. We are going to be talking through with the kids that we are never too far gone for God to forgive us. The story that we're going to be looking over is Peter's denial of Jesus. And if you're familiar with this story, then you know that Jesus told him this was going to happen. Peter said, no, 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 not me. And then as the course of the evening went on, he actually denied him three times. If you would love to brush up on this story and read through it and kind of familiarize yourself with it again, that way we are prepped and ready to engage with the kids. It is found in Luke 22, verses 31 through 38 and also verses 54 through 62. The story continues then, the way that we're telling it, into John 21, verses 1 and 21. So there's a little bit to read, but it'll make a really great devotional or study time for you. Um, It shouldn't take too long, but we're going to be talking about that this weekend with the kids. And as you remember, last weekend, the one-on-one with Jesus uh, uh, series, sorry, I forgot the word, um, Started So we started a new memory verse, and it is found in Colossians 2, 3. In him are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Feel free to go over that um, a couple times and become familiar with the, with the motions. That way, when you come in this weekend, when I say, okay, leaders, go ahead and practice it a couple times with your kids, you are like, game on. Here we go. Um, the, the part of the groups for this weekend that I love to share with you guys is in elementary, the game that we're playing is telephone. So you'll whisper something to a kid, who will whisper it to a kid, who will whisper it to a kid, and by the end of it, it's not even close to what it was. There will be sample sentences on your leader guide this weekend, so don't worry about making those up on the fly. Um, the song that we're singing is Rise and Sing in elementary. And then in preschool, the game that we are playing this weekend is called Face Bingo. It's a new game. It plays just like bingo. They'll have little bingo cards with their little squares, and you're going to draw a face out of the bag. If that face matches a face on their card, they're going to put a square on it. So um, uh, just a best practice for this one that helped last time we did bingo. If you have all the kids line up, Instead of being in a circle, if you have them line up with their boards in front of them, it goes a little better. That way you can then sit in front of them and say, okay, do you have this face? Does this match? And it just seems to go a little better. So there's the best practice for that. And then the song that we're singing in preschool is is brand new, um, and it is This Little Light of Mine. It's not brand new maybe to us adults, but it's brand new to the the kids um, that come to us every weekend. Um, Weekend wins coming up for this weekend. Guys, we are getting a special guest this weekend from our West Toledo campus. Her name is Sarah Rankins, and she is the assistant director there. They have so graciously said, you can have Sarah for Sunday. So she'll be down here helping us run Sunday. She'll pop in and out of um, large programs and teaching. And really, um, she is fabulous. She has great ideas. She has great information. So um, ask questions to her um, and just really help me welcome her to our team on Sunday and then make sure that we all say thank you because they had the you know just to rearrange some of their own um, things so that way she could so graciously come down here and serve with us but um, a practical thing for us so we have been focusing on connection for um, a while now but here's something that I want all of us together as a team to band together and do I want to challenge each one of you to learn to New family, not maybe necessarily brand new, but two sets of parents' names that you don't know. They can be brand new families. They could be maybe families that are newer, that's been coming a couple weeks, or maybe a family that you know the kid really well, but you have no idea what the parents' names are. I would love for each one of us to pick two sets of parents and learn their names. That way when they come back, we could say, Hey, Krista, how was your week? How are things going for you? It just helps them feel like we see them and we love them like we do, but it helps them know that we do. So that is the the weekend win that we're going for. I would love for all of us to have two sets of parents learn their names uh, that you don't already know. And then um, this week, I would love for you to pray with me that God would move in our hearts 
through this Mark reading plan. Um, if you weren't here last weekend, we are reading through Mark as a church, um, just that God would move in our hearts as we are reading through Mark and as we are getting ready for Easter. Uh, that's going to look different for each and every one of us. God is, has us in our unique journeys, but just if we could pray that God would move inside of our hearts and maybe show us something new. That's been my prayer, um, and I would love for you guys to join me in that. Um, as you know, Easter is approaching. We are about, ooh, I think, three or four weeks out, I forget. But Easter signups are coming. They're going to be online like they were for Christmas, um, and that live link is coming up soon. So um, if you want to stop and chat with me this weekend, um, what I'm going to do is have like an unofficial kind of thing that if you already know what you want to serve, you can tell me. Um, you won't technically be signed up. Um, I'll have to do that for you once the link goes live. But I want to at least begin the conversations about serving um, and what it's going to look like. We have um, eight services. We have three additional to our normal weekend service. So if you are already on um, that weekend rotation, you're already going to be scheduled to serve on your regular serving. Um, but guys, as, as you know, as we went through Christmas and even Easter, it is a blast serving together. We bring in food and it's just a great time of camaraderie and hanging out all while serving brand new families. This is another one of those big times where people are way more um, open to coming to church. So if you would consider serving maybe more than one, I would love to have you. And then um, my encouragement for this week, I have been, um, I've been reading through the Mark reading plan, which just started Monday. So we're, today's Tuesday, <laughs> two days in. Um, <clears throat> if you did not grab one of these this past weekend, we do have these available. It's a journaling guide. So it gives you um, best, like different practices that you can do while journaling. But then on the very inside here, you'll see it, the Mark reading plan. We're going through it, reading four chapters a week. If you would love a paper copy, they can get this for you at the Welcome Center, or this is whoop, available on our app, okay? So yesterday I was reading um, in Mark 1, and something caught my attention, and I wanted to share it with you guys because, oh, it's in, it's in Spanish. Hold on, let me find the English. Oh, buddy. You guys ever, like, <laughs> have Monday come more than one? Matthew, Mark, Matthew, Mark, there's Luke. Mark's coming up. Okay, sorry about this. I, uh. Here we go. Okay, I was reading something, and I wanted to share it with you guys because it, it struck me, and I literally had to stop at what I was thinking. Okay, this is in Mark uh, 1, verses 16 through 18. As Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once, they left their nets and followed him. Now, there's two little words in there uh, that just caught my attention. At once. At once, they dropped their professions. At once, they didn't make a pro, con. Uh, here's the things I'm going to have to pack up first. Here's the things I'm going to have to hand off to someone else. Um, they didn't do a, oh, hold on, let me, tell, let me, let me grab um, some input from others. No, 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 at once. They dropped their nets and they followed Jesus. I don't know about you guys, but that's usually not my natural inclination. I'm not an at once kind of girl. I'm like, oh, let me think about it for a week. Let me pray about it for another week. Let me ask advice from mentors and wise people around me. And then, God, then we'll go. But that caught me and it stirred something inside of my heart to question why is sometimes, why sometimes. Sometimes it is good to take time and get wise counsel and pray. I'm not knocking that. I'm not saying that that is not a good thing to do. But what I am saying is in my own heart, when Jesus says, come and follow me, why is it that sometimes at once is not my reaction? Just something I wanted to share with you guys. I wanted, to th I wanted you to think through it. Maybe dig through some of those, t I call them tough gut questions. Um, ones that you have to ask yourself. And, and it doesn't always have an answer right away. So 
Um, if you guys have not jumped on the Mark reading plan, I would love to invite you to do that. It's going to be so cool to have conversations about what we're all reading together. And I will see you guys this weekend.